operators are facing increasing pressures to reduce their environmental impact. These are coming from both external and internal sources. There are external pressures as the world looks to carbon intensive industries to reduce their emissions and internal pressures as telcos are figuring out how to meet the ambitious net zero targets that they've set. To some degree, this is compounded by the anticipated growth in data traffic. The introduction of 5G and its associated use cases means this will place further pressures on mobile networks. Green networks can be a way to resolve some of these challenges. Green networks incorporate energy efficiency and low power consumption by design. Minimising energy consumption while maximising efficiency and optimization is key. Like other sustainability measures, this has a positive business as well as environmental impact because energy costs can account for up to 40% of telco OPEX. I'm going to talk through seven principles for delivering green networks. The first thing is to have energy efficient infrastructure. The rollout of 5G standalone is an opportunity for operators to redesign the network and incorporate green principles throughout. Choosing the most energy efficient hardware in their rollout and decommissioning energy intensive 2G, 3G and 4G networks is key. Also, focusing on what you can do with the passive infrastructure, air conditioning, uninterrupted power supply and ventilation should all be factored in. The second thing is to take a holistic view. Rationalising inefficient equipment has obvious benefits, but it should be balanced in terms of the total useful life cycle. For example, the impact of decommissioning equipment has a major impact on carbon emissions, transporting the equipment and breaking it down. So this should be done past its useful life where possible. The third thing is using renewable energy sources. So ideally green networks will be powered through renewables as much as possible. Telcos can access renewable energy through power contracts, but sometimes they will be using fossil fuels, for example, when they need to power the network when it's not sunny or it's not windy. Also, some countries have better access to renewables than others, so it's not possible for all. A partial green network would use some devices that are powered by renewable sources. The fourth point is around balancing traffic with intelligent networks. So incorporating more AI and machine learning and analytics can help networks to learn, optimise and develop as they adapt to increasing data volumes. You can then have more self-optimisation and repairing networks, enabling you to do more with less. Having less human intervention and the associated emissions around that is another way to save on carbon footprint. Number five, having more automation to reduce the need for redundancies. With more automation, you can do more with less and you avoid having built-in redundancies. You typically have these built in to deal with failures, but better automation means you can reduce surplus hardware. The next thing is around embedding energy efficiency beyond the quick wins. So we need to build energy efficiency into the entire telco. So going beyond the network teams to make this part of every business unit. For example, coding the networks to have more automation, but only if the code is energy efficient by design. Also, encourage efficiency across procurement, design and operations to reduce in carbon intensity as much as possible. And the final thing is to foster an efficiency mindset. To really embed efficiency across the entire organisation, telcos need to make sure that everybody is on the same page. Seek out talent that's focused on and rewarded for meeting green goals. Setting KPIs from the top down and incentivising the right behaviours can make sure these goals are met from the bottom up. <laughs>